Hi guys, today I will be um, utilizing the um, Maslow Hierarchy of Needs, uh, which is one of the motivational theories that was mentioned in this week's unit. Um, Maslow Hierarchy of Needs is a psychological theory that categorizes human needs into five levels and uh, it can provide some good insights um, to address, you know, the issue of keeping staff motivated. Um, now, after the original startup excitement has, you know, passed, so you know the first um, first need is the psychological need, um, and basically, it uh, ensures that the basic needs uh, of a comfortable work environment, fair comfort compensation and access to necessary resources are constantly met, implement wellness programs and initiatives to support the physical well-being of employees. So the approach that we would have for this issue for this would be that we would have regular check-ins and feedbacks. Um, we would conduct regular one-on-one -on -one meetings to discuss individual goals, progress and address any concerns. Um, and this provides a platform for acknowledging achievements and offering constructive feedback. The second one would be a safety needs. Um, and this is establishing a sense of job security and stability by fostering a transparent and communicative work culture. You know, it provides opportunity for skill development and career growth demonstrating a commitment to the long-term success of our employees within the organization. So the approach we would have for this and would be to have professional development programs and we would implement ongoing training and de developmental development develop, develop initiatives that align with employees' career aspirations. So this not only enhances skills, but also shows our commitment to um, you know, our employees' long-term growth. The third one would be the social needs. Um, it would be to foster a positive and collaborative, collaborative, collaborative workplace and culture where employees feel a sense of belonging and camaraderie. Encourage, we would encourage team building activities, open communication channels, and mentorship programs to strengthen social bonds within the team. Um, so, you know, we would basically, uh, in order to help this, we would have a good wellness and work-life balance. Um, we would prior prioritize employee well-being by offering wellness programs, flexible work arrangements, and initiatives that promote a healthy work-life balance. The fourth one would be esteem needs. And esteem needs, it would be to recognize and appreciate employees' contributions through regular feedback acknowledgement and a fair reward system, encourage autonomy and responsibility, allowing individuals to take pride in their work and accomplishments. So the approach for this would be um, having recognition and rewards, obviously uh, establish a formal recognition program that celebrates accomplishments and milestones. Um, you know, recognition contributes to fulfilling esteem needs and reinforces a positive work environment. Lastly, we would have self-actualization, um, and self-actualization will be providing to provide opportunities for personal and professional growth, allowing employees to realize their full potential, support creative thinking, innovation, and individual development plans aligned with organizational goals. So the approach we would take on this would be employee involvement. You know, we would have a sense of uh, foster a sense of ownership by involving employees in decision making and you know seeking their input on certain projects this uh, empowers them gives them some sort of power and contributes to a feeling of self-actualization which is what the goal is here in the Harry and Maslow's hierarchy of needs and you know have a sense of ownership by involving employees in decision-making processes and seeking their input on projects and this uh, gives them the power and contributes um, to that self-actualization like I said. So those that was the motivational theory that I decided to use. Uh, I thought it was very useful and very accurate um, for this unit. So thank you guys for listening.